and gentlemen, the following contest is our co-main event of the evening. This match, set for one fall, is for the NWL Kansas City Championship. You heard Ben Simon correctly. This is the co-main event for the evening and one heck of a matchup that we have in store for you. Last week, this man right here, Hans Ruger, newcomer from Austria, answered the Dak Draper Dreams Come True Challenge, and he hoped to take home that Kansas City Championship back to Austria. Can you imagine the Kansas City Championship leaving the country? That would be absolutely horrible. I bet President Trump would absolutely hate that. Bro, no way that's going to happen tonight. Hans Ruger definitely has his, his work cut out for him. And the Kansas City Champion, the man who has defended his belt now on two different occasions. And that would be the Mile High Magnum, Dak Draper. coming out slowly in the fuck. Wow! Wow! Would you look at that? The Mile High Magnum Dak Draper has got pyrotechnics now here in the NWL. Well, look, when you're the uh, champion, you deserve pyrotechnics, and uh, you deserve all the accolades that come with being the Kansas City champion. The Mile High Magnum, Dak Draper. I'd be willing to bet Dak Draper is such an egomaniac that he was the one that actually commissioned those pyrotechnics himself. Uh, I would bet that there's some local pyrotechnic company here in Kansas City that was just begging to do it for Dak Draper. Everybody wants Ladies to be a part of the Dak Draper train. Well, I'm aboard. And for the Kansas City Championship, your referee is Todd Countryman. Introducing first, the challenger from Vienna, Austria, weighing 107 kilos, 235 pounds. Please welcome Hans Ruger. Look at the shape this man from Austria is impressive. Absolutely a physical specimen for sure. And ladies and gentlemen, very we're in white from Denver, Colorado, weighing 244 pounds. He is the defending NWL Kansas City champion, the Mile High Magnum, Dak Draper. Never short of confidence or swagger is our heavyweight champion. Dak Draper, but he has got to be concerned with this newcomer, Hans Ruger, and if he is able to defeat Dak Draper tonight in his first outing, what does that mean for our champ, Dak Draper? Well, it just goes to show you the amount of confidence that a guy like Dak Draper has. He's willing to make that challenge against a guy who's obviously a great looking athlete. We don't know what he can do inside the ring yet, but that just shows you how good Dak Draper is. He doesn't care who it is, when it is, he's the Kansas City champion and he's taken on all comers. Anytime, anywhere. So Blaine Meeks, that's the reason you don't get your rematch, because this guy is out taking care of business. He's got a long line of people to beat, and maybe, someday, maybe soon, Blaine Meeks will get another chance. But he's got to wait at the end of the line. Your perspective is so different than those of us that are actually watching what's transpiring in front of us because you know that Dak Draper has been avoiding Blaine Meeks like the bubonic plague because he knows next time he locks up with Blaine Meeks, Captain KC, that belt is going home with Blaine Meeks. Well, you think so, huh? I think that Dak Draper is the most confident champion that we have ever seen here in Kansas City, and that could be, that goes back for decades. Uh, and I will say that I don't think Dak Draper is afraid of anything. You just, you just want your buddy Blaine to do well. You're part of that, uh, that generation where everybody deserves a trophy, right? So Blaine, because he tried hard, he should be the champ. Well, Blaine, you didn't have it, and you're not the champion, and you gotta wait at the bottom of the lot list. Bell has sounded and we are underway. Hans Ruger and Dak Draper. And what I expect in this match is we're gonna we're gonna have a feeling out process between
between these two big athletes. They're going to try to figure out the other one's weakness, if there is one, capitalize on that, and pick up the one, two, three. And it looks like Dak Draper has just got the better of a strength contest in that collar and elbow tie. Dak Draper didn't get to be the Kansas City champion by uh, luck. It just didn't just happen to him one day. This guy spends hours and hours in the gym, in the ring, doing all sorts of things to make sure that he is in the top physical condition. And not only that, but that he's also at the top of his game skill-wise as well. I don't know why you act so surprised about things like that. Once again, the two Bulls have locked horns, and they are embattled in a test of will and a test of strength with the collar and elbow tie-up. And now it looks like Ruger may have gotten the best of that one. And Todd Countryman putting that count on both of them. He may have had a little bit of hair there, I think. He, that's probably why he got the better of that exchange. Jack Draper taking exception to it. Jack Draper frustrated by the strength, perhaps, of Hans Ruger and puts a boot right into the midsection and locks in that side headlock. Ruger down to the mat, hard. Dak Draper got a little bit of that drop kick, and now that, that display of strength that we've seen, Hans Ruger puts the, an end to that. Rolls Dak Draper over, shoulders not down yet. Now it is. Oh, Countryman making the count, only gets a one. Hans Ruger once again locks in that side headlock. Transitions for Dak being into a, putting that side headlock on him. Well, you're right, Miller. There certainly is going to be a little bit of a feeling out process here. Both men not really wanting to make a mistake as of yet. Not that you ever want to make a mistake, but you're not putting yourself out there uh, and being vulnerable with somebody who you really don't know a whole lot about. I don't know anything about this Hans Ruger guy. I don't even know if he's really from Austria. He looks uh, he could be from Mexico, as far as I know. Another arm drag takeover. Hans Ruger is going to try to connect with that elbow drop again. Right into the chest. This one actually hits and gets a two count. Smart move there by Dak Draper. Things getting a little out of hand. Da uh, oh, Ruger. now he look at him. The champion is calling for a timeout. Well, I believe that's how apropos right now when he's getting beat by Hans Ruger. Listen, I believe that's the champion's prerogative. The champion can take a timeout, cool things off. People want to see the champion do well. He needs a break. He needs a break. Listen to these fans here with their tidy whities chant. That's terrible. How disrespectful. I, I suppose you, you condone this type of thing, don't you, Miller? Absolutely. The fans really getting under the skin of Dak Draper because at every given opportunity, he gets under everybody else's skin. So I think a little turnabout is fair play. Well, he doesn't get under my skin. This is a guy who is a winner. Guys like us, we just have to stick together. I get why you don't like him because you can never be a guy like him. I can't believe you just looped yourself into the same class of athlete as somebody like Dak Draper. You're living in a dream world. Listen, I do the circuit training a couple of times a week. Oh, just drove him on that apron back first. Had him up in a belly-to-back suplex. Hans Ruger showing his strength in. Both men keep breaking Todd Countryman's count on the outside. They want to do a little business out there, and I think we should let him. Hans Ruger might be going for that European uppercut. No, steps aside to Dak Draper and drives his head right into that steel post. Unbelievable maneuver right there from Dak Draper. Not something you've probably seen in decades. This guy going with his very, very smart and lured Ruger in. He lured him in the whole way. Played him like a, uh, a just like shooting fish in a barrel now. Dak Draper slamming the head of Hans Ruger, first off that security railing, then off that apron. He's really trying to take it to Hans Ruger, maybe trying to finish, you know, finish the match partially outside the ring and then take it all the way in the ring and take it home for that one, two, three. And now Dak Draper has peeled back that, that mat, that protective mat, which isn't, isn't thick to begin with, but now he wants to inflict real damage on Hans Ruger. That's right, that, absolutely, that is a very thin carpet over concrete on that floor right there. Whatever he has planned for Hans, it's uh, not going to feel good. Smart move by Dak Draper, constantly breaking Todd Countryman's count. Shows you the ring general and ring awareness aptitude that Dak Draper displays each and every time he's out here in front of these fans. 
Love him or hate him, this guy knows what he's doing. Did you hear the uh, impact that Hans Ruger's back had on the uh, concrete floor there? Unbelievable. He could have it right here. Tag Draper not yet able to put away the Austrian sensation, Hans Ruger. I had a chance to talk to Hans before his match here tonight, and let me tell you, this guy is, he's entertaining. He likes to have a good time. He likes to train a lot. He trains hard. And I suggest that all you fans go watch, go watch the interview that uh, Hans is, has on the internet backstage here at the NWL. Yeah, you might as well go watch it now because this Hans Ruger, I don't know that he's going to be around much longer if Dak Draper keeps treating him like this. Jack Draper firmly in control of this match, showing you why he is the first and the greatest Kansas City champion. Oh, that leapy knee just drove right into the forehead of Hans Ruger, like a surgeon with that precision on the Looks knee like. drop. Jack Draper still trying to figure out the key. What is it going to take to put someone like Hans Ruger away? This is that great unknown. You don't know what a guy like Hans Ruger has in the tank. You don't know what his intestinal fortitude is, but he's certainly showing a lot of it here tonight. He, oh, just goes to show you the impact that the NWL is having on the wrestling world. You got people from all over the world now wanting to be here in Kansas City, wanting to be in St. Louis. The uh, amount of competition getting better and better and stronger, tougher, faster, uh, just overall better every single week here in the NWL, and I'm uh, excited to be a part of it. Absolutely. Hans Ruger knew that the place to be is Kansas City, Missouri, and the NWL. He wants that championship, and he wants it bad. And Dak Draper driving two, three hard elbows right into the almost the bridge of the nose, top of the head of Hans Ruger. And I'm surprised Hans Ruger's still conscious after those elbow strikes. Very solid shots to the uh, bridge of the nose and forehead of Hans Ruger right there from Dak Draper. Dak firmly in control and has been for the last several minutes here. Is there anything that Dak Draper can't do? I bet you if you put Dak Draper in a chess tournament, he'd win that. He'd probably win a, a darts tournament as well. This guy, just a fantastic athlete. He's a winner. He's going to find a way to win every single time out. Rolls him up. He was going for a, a quick victory there with the schoolboy. Again, rolls him up with another schoolboy too. Oh, hard, vicious clothesline takes Hans Ruger down to the mat. And as my broadcast colleague was just saying, who I believe is the president of the Mile High Fan Club, and this is nothing taken away from the athletic prowess of the Mile High Magnum, Dak Drake. Listen, I'm a member. I'm not the president, but I certainly am a member. And I don't know why you wouldn't be. If you like winners, you like the talented wrestlers, of course you'd be cheering for Dak Draper. You probably cheer for the staff guys. I do like the staff guys. I want an orange shirt myself. Oh, that looks awful, by the way. Driving knees right into the solar plexus of Hans Ruger sends him hard into the far side. Here, Hans Ruger get, able to get that elbow up right in the jaw of Dak Draper. A boot up again against the face of Dak Draper, and Dak Draper keeps coming. Hans Ruger takes him down with a shoulder tackle. Hans Ruger a little, a little woozy on his feet and pancakes. But Dak Draper just pancakes Hans Ruger in the middle. One, two, oh, so close. Hans Ruger gets that left shoulder up. That might have been our closest near fall of the matchup so far. Very, very close there. Dak Draper, I think he thinks that was a three count. And I can say uh, very well could have been. Uh, you know, every week we see something new from Dak Draper. We see this guy constantly upping his game. You know, a lot of folks, when they become a champion, they uh, just sort of get a little complacent. We're not seeing anything like that from the Kansas City champion, Dak Draper. Look at Dak Draper stepping on one of the hands and wrenching in almost an abdominal stretch and holding on to the hair. And Todd Countryman put wisely putting the count on him. You could just see a chunk of hair falling out of Hans Ruger as he gets driven into the mat. What a vicious move that was. That was, that was just a punch. That wasn't even to get a submission. 
Well, I think that Hans Ruger hanging in this long with Dak Draper has surprised Dak Draper just a little bit. It certainly surprised me uh, as well. We didn't know anything about this guy coming in. We knew he was coming, right? We knew he was a, a good-looking athlete, but we didn't know just how much this guy had. Dak Draper wants to show him, you know, it, it, it isn't this easy. You don't just come in and get to be a top guy without paying your dues, without having to take some lumps, and that's exactly what he's been doing here most of the night here. Oh, he's challenging Dak Draper, and he uh, he obliges that challenge by driving a forearm into the chin. Look at him with his feet on the ropes. There's your champion right there, really trying to cut corners to get a victory over the Austrian sensation, Hans Ruger. You can say that he's an Austrian sensation all you want, but to me, he looks like a guy who is uh, outclassed right now by our Kansas City champion, and that is Dak Draper. I kind of like the sound of that. Austrian sensation. I hate that. I'm going to have to hear that every week. I'm going to hear that comic, comic mischief in my nightmares every single week now, thanks to you, Miller. Hans Ruger starting to put it into the momentum of the Mile High Magnum with a series of shots and a European uppercut and make that two. Hans Ruger trying to fight back against Dak Draper who's had firm control of this matchup and a sliding European uppercut. Dak Draper once again makes it back up to his feet and he just keeps coming at Hans Ruger. And there's the Austrian bottom going for a cover, almost gets a three count. Austrian bottom. I knew an Austrian bottom. Uh, that's a completely different story that we don't have time to talk about here. Look at this guy. He back up on his feet. Hans Ruger trying to get the crowd behind him as he comes in with a lariat to the corner of Dak Draper. What is he planning to do now? Throws the mile high magnum back in and a charging European uppercut. Hans Ruger wants this KC title and he wants it bad. And I want to see what this guy's got next in store for the mile high magnum. Looks like he's going to the top rope. Wow, unbelievable guy this size climbing up to that top rope. See what he's got uh, in store. He's taking a long time to get up there. He is taking a long time to get up there. And the Mile High Magnum drops himself all 250 plus pounds down on that top rope. And now Hans Ruger is in a precarious position. And the Mile High Magnum with a standing drop kick sends Ruger crashing to the floor. Very unforgiving floor there for Hans Ruger. This guy still uh, weary. He might have landed on that exposed piece of the floor here at the Scottish Rite Temple since those mats had been moved by Dak Draper earlier on in this contest. I'll give this Hans Ruger uh, an awful lot of credit. This guy has been hanging in there. He's been showing an awful lot of fight here, doing very, very well for himself. But maybe just uh, might. Hans Ruger just collapses on top of Dak Draper too. So close to picking up a victory. I wonder if Dak Draper's knee gave out on him because Hans Ruger just crashed down on top of the mile high magnum with in, the, in that belly to back suplex attempt. Perhaps this was more of a match than Dak Draper thought it was going to be. Sometimes, you know, when you're, you're a champion. Oh, ow. Scintillating forearm connects right with the jaw of Hans Ruger. And Hans Ruger face plants in the middle of the ring. Dak Draper seeing an opening. Could we see? Could it possibly be the Mile High Dr. Bomb? Two, three, it's it. and Dak Draper successfully defends his Kansas City Championship. What a champion Dak Draper is. This guy coming in here challenging uh, him, and he has knows nothing about him, just knows that uh, he's from Austria, a good looking athlete. Dak Draper showing you why he is our Kansas City Champion. This guy doesn't let anything stop him. Who's going to stop Dak Draper? Red Cloud? I don't think so. Is it going to be Gil Rogers? I, I doubt it. Is it going to be Blaine Meeks? Absolutely. No. Absolutely no it'll be Blaine Meeks if Dak Draper stops dodging Captain Kansas City and grows some intestinal fortitude. Maybe we'll see a different champion here in the coming weeks. I cannot believe the debut of Hans Ruger. What a showing by this this Austrian sensation, if you will, Hans Ruger. I'm excited to have Hans Ruger here. He did a great job here tonight. Absolutely a fantastic athlete, good, great addition to the lineup, but he is not your Kansas City champion. That's Dak. 
I look forward to seeing much more of that gentleman, Hans Ruger, in the coming weeks, because I know we have not seen the last of him. Dak Draper successfully defends his championship, and folks, we'll be right back here on the NWL Kansas City.